Ahoy there lads! Today I'm going to show you guys my hero deck profile. This is absolutely my favorite deck of all time and this is going to be a great start to my channel. Let's get started. Shout out to the Daredevil playmat. Gotta add my uh, Spider-Man token and my Daredevil field center to the side right there. Let's get started. Alright, so first, we have the usual three Stratos. Um, a lot of people have decided trying to play two, but um, I always like consistency, so I try to play three. Two Shadow Mist, one Solid Soldier, and Liquid Soldier. This guy is amazing. And then the one Honest Neos. And now we're gonna go for the uh, Vision Hero engine. It's pretty standard, we're playing three Ferris, two Increase, and then the two Vion. Um, basically, it's like the starter to a lot of our plays other than Stratos. Um, now we're gonna go on to our Destiny Heroes. People can be a little um, picky on which ones they pick other than like Mali and Plasma, but uh, I chose to go with just these five just because they, they feel more safe to me. We have the one standard Plasma, unfortunately the two Mali's, um, and then I went with Dynatag and then Celestial. A lot of people play Draw Hand instead of him now, but um, he has a pretty neat um, spell removal effect. If you could uh, get it off, so I just feel like it's more, a little more versatile, but a little bit slower because you have to wait until the next turn you dump it. And then the one evil hero. All right, that is all the monsters. Now we're gonna go into the spells. Three fusion destiny, um, absolutely amazing, but you gotta be careful when you uh, activate it because you get locked into dark um, hero monsters. I choose to play three E calls and the one Rota. And then I also play three mass changes. So uh, a little bit of advice here. I know a lot of people prefer to use the super rares over the gold rares. But um, when I first started playing the deck in tournaments and stuff way back when the structure deck came out, I used to use the super rares. And the super rares have the older text, which kind of say, um, I don't know, it has like a really weird wording, and I was playing against a Mermel player, and I targeted my Shadow Mist, send it to Special Summon Dark Claw, but then he flipped over, I think, uh, I think he somehow negated it, I think it was Vanity's Emptiness, and then the judge ruled that it was cost to send my Shadow Mist to the grave, and um, that's not right, the Matt Gold Rares have the uh, updated text, so... Just keep that in mind if you're trying to uh, use the supers. The one hero lives, one polymerization, the wonder fusion, and then dark column. So that's 35 cards so far. The rest of them, uh, you could kind of choose, pick and choose what you want to do, but I recommend using those 35 cards first. It's pretty standard. Um, so now these next two cards, I kind of use um, as my replacements for uh, leave, uh, losing one Mali. So I'm using Mer uh, Monster Reborn, <clears throat> probably the best extender we could have. Um, and then I'm just using Upstart Goblin, just because I couldn't think of a better card. Um, I was testing out Instant Fusion, which isn't too bad, but it takes that slot it takes up in the extra deck. It's kind of unfortunate, um, but Upstart's been okay. And then lastly, I played three Imperms, which is okay because I try to um, make a build that's good going first or second. Nowadays, you might want to play something like um, Dark Ruler No More just because it's a little bit more impactful. Um, but these have been okay. Alright, let's go to the extra deck. Right. We gotta have the boy here. Two Dark Laws. 
basically that's our win con right now. Just banishing everything is pretty impactful in the meta right now. Um, the one acid because now we have Liquid Soldier and absolute zero again. Hero Blast to um, <clears throat> just uh, get rid of back row and tag out uh, Stratos in case if they try to negate its effect. Um, now for the E heroes, Sunriser, Absolute Zero, and then the Shining. So originally I wasn't playing the Shining, I was trying to play um, Steam Healer um, as my instant fusion target, and that was okay. Um, because it made getting into absolute zero a little bit more live and it was just an extra body on the field But just having to draw into that one instant fusion kind of sucks. So that's why the upstart was okay, and I really like having this uh, um, Alternative um, miracle fusion target <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna go for our destiny hero targets dystopia awesome in time and then dangerous to fix your bricked hands and then you gotta play the one evil hero, Mali Bane. And then the OG OTK -er, Trinity. And now just the, the links, we got Dread Decimator, Wonder Driver, and then Cross Crusader. All right, that wraps out the extra deck and now for the side deck, all right? So now this can be, um, honestly, just it's up to your own preferences. I'm using three feet blossoms because you got it. Um, then I'm using three DD crows. This originally was Nibiru, but Nibiru really isn't that good against Adamantipator, and I don't think it does much against Eldritch. So, but DD crow is pretty decent. I haven't tested it out entirely yet, but um, I think it's a good call. And then the card that probably should be in the main deck is Dark Ruler No More right now. But because I like to try to go first, I um, I like to side it. Uh, it's self-explanatory, just breaks Adam Emancipators. Three Cosmic Cyclone. Um, you could also try playing Twin Twister if you really want to, but the banishing effect is pretty good right now. One Mind Control, one Imperial Order, and then the one re Red Reboot. Um, just really powerful one ofs and that's it guys um i'm gonna start uploading a little bit more now uh this is the start of my channel i have been wanting to do this for a while i'll probably start doing more test hands uh, i'm gonna try focusing around heroes mostly but i might do other deck profiles uh that's about it thanks guys